Okay, this is to make a text into an SVG. I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's see here, the, that's the font. And I'm gonna do gangster or gangsta wrapper. Now you select your font and click on it, and then I've got this guy here. I'm just going to center it here. So I kind of want to pick a different font. And usually if you bring up your character map, you just type in, you know, character map. It'll pop up. Just open it. Give it a second to open up. This is how you're able to choose all the different glyphs. This is your character map and whichever font you know you were wanting to pick. So, um, and you scroll down and you can pick the different uh, ligatures that it has. You would just you know click on that one, you know, copy, and then you you know click on there and up here and paste. Then it would bring it up. I don't like that one so much. I don't really use it, but that, that is how it's used. I use Nexus font. And so I can choose different collections. I've got regular fonts and then my, my fonts that have the extra glyphs, color fonts, prints, and all the different kinds. So I've already got what up here I type what I want it to say so I can just scroll through. I was looking at this one. So I right click and drop down to char map. Then they're all in here. So that way it's a lot easier for me to find exactly what I want because I already know these have the extra glyphs. You know, these ones are going to be the color fonts. These ones are just all the fonts or the, you know, this saves me so much time searching through, you know, all of these fonts installed on this computer, right? So, and like right here, you know, I can type in whatever it is that I want, or if I remember one in here, I can just, you know, type it in right there. So these are the, the ones with winter in the word, if I wanted that are part of those fonts that have all those extra glyphs. So I'm just going to scroll up in here. I've got a lot in here. So when you don't have a whole lot it's easier to find it through the other character map i guess but when you have as many as i have it kind of gets harder and this one is just a lot easier and you can download it in the in your uh, in here when you go into the different programs that you can install let's see here i don't know i kind of like this one so i'm gonna go into here and see if i like the ones that it has you know what, I kind of like this, so what is it called? Frester. So I can double click here, but I don't really want that one. So where is the G? Just so I can kind of show you what you can do with it. Let's choose R with it going the other way. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to copy. So what is it called? Frester. Um, let's type in Frester here. There we go. And I'm going to just go ahead and paste it right there. And I'm going to paste it right there too. Okay. So probably could have done there, but again, this is just to kind of show you. Okay. So I just probably make that one <laughs> lowercase too. Okay, so now I have my font. If I tried to upload it into Design Space this way, it's not going to work because it's not a vector graphic yet. So with it selected, go up to Object, get down to Expand, and it should automatically pop up with Object and Fill showing. Doesn't just click on those two and then hit OK. So now I'm going to use the Zoom tool to kind of zoom in on it. So now if you look, it is... A vector graphic but kind of just like with design space if you leave it like that it will cut the G and the A like that 
and it's going to be that way all the way through. So you need to do something else to them before you, you know, really connect them. You need to do Unite with Pathfinder. If Pathfinder doesn't show up over here or with any of the other options, you'd go to Window, Find Pathfinder. If it's not clicked, that little check mark, just click that and it'll pop up over here. So I, I keep it out right here because I do use it so often. I could just shove it in there, you know, but I, and the way I move it is I just click, I left click and just drag it around. Okay, so now to connect them with it selected, I'm just going to hit Unite and then boom, it's all one and it's connected. Oh, I clicked out of it out of habit. So now when I zoom in, you see how it's all just one solid piece. So when it cuts in design space, it is going to be one solid piece. So I'm just going to get rid of that one there. <clears throat> so whatever size you make it is what size it's going to be. And how I'm doing this, I'm just, I'm left clicking, holding onto it, holding onto the shift and dragging it out. If I don't, hold on to the shift key. When I drag, it's going to do all this. So I hold shift and see how it keeps that perfect shape right there. Okay. So if I wanted to do this, we go at, you know, save, save as. This is kind of where I save everything. And, you know, I'm going to just give it a random name right there. But right here, I need to make sure to click SVG. It's going to save, make sure to hit OK. And then I could upload it into Design Space perfectly. Let's hope it. I'm already signed in. I don't know if I am. So if I wanted to do, let's see here, the dingbats. A lot of the different fonts have um, dingbats, right? Um, See, if I wanted to add one of these guys, again, I'm going to right-click it, left-click onto the char map, and if I wanted to add, I don't know, this pretty thing around, I'm just going to double-click it here, copy. If I wanted to add this guy here, and it kind of just popped there, I hit shift Oh, I do not have that font selected, selected, and that font is Burson Dream Extras. Let me go ahead and just change that really quick. Burson Dream Extras. There we go. There's that font because it is technically a font and not an image. I'm holding on to shift here. Well, let's go with it. Expand. Okay. And to make this whole thing just one, I'm going to click on Unite right there. I'm going to make this guy a little bit smaller here. Eh, maybe a little bit too small. Okay, I'm going to put this guy here in the middle. I'm going to click, drag, and select it. And up here, I'm just going to kind of middle, and then again, middle right there. And because they're both selected, I'm going to hit Unite. So now it's all just one piece, right? Actually, I'm going to save. Now that's my, that's my SVG right there. And then... That's it.